Go. Um, hello, everyone, and um, you're welcome to this uh, roundtable director's discussion. Yep. My name is Kevin okay. Joseph, and here with me is. Aaron I'm Aaron Lawrence, and uh, my nickname is Ghost. And uh, Paolo here is the director of the film that we saw. So we recreated um, a scene from The Matrix. You know, which is a scene where he's in his apartment sleeping and uh, there's a prompt on the computer that says, follow the white rabbit. So, um, <clears throat> so the first question is, how useful was the video essay, or aka task one, how did it help to understand mise-en-scene and basically to plan this whole entire shoot? Uh, I think it was very useful because uh, very, I think it was very useful because uh, like it gave me an understanding of how to like analyze bees and sends and like shots and stuff and to do with color so like got me a basic understanding of mise on sends and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was easier because uh, because all the um, all the lighting and all that. So. Uh, in my opinion. Um the video essay so basically the first question under here is like mm -hmm. explain how you use your knowledge and understanding to basically analyze your script and put together your pitch so in my opinion it helps because i didn't know anything about mise-en-scene yeah, so yeah. the video essay really helped me to like do some research learn more and basically go in depth into those different elements and it was actually quite easier to annotate the script because it was really easy to tell which one like which line of the script was light uh lighting which line of the script was like uh suggesting the setting the props yeah um the uh, position of the character because yeah. it literally says the script set through this technological yeah. ratness and uh, we did some practice beforehand as well with like yeah. Nick and stuff. It was like, really it, it made it easier because if we didn't, then it would be harder. Just us going into this without any knowledge of whatever the hell we're doing. Yeah, we wouldn't yeah. know what we're doing. That's true. So, yeah, I'd say it was like it really made it easier for us to pull this off. Mm. Yeah. So, do you think? Planning and pitching your own C would have been hard to do without the video essay. Yeah, I, I think it was very fun. much. I yeah, think it, yeah, it was easier, uh, but yeah. pretty much it, it would be harder if we did. Yeah, well, the story was right. Yeah, yeah. If you know what to do. Well, well if you know what well. you're doing, yeah, you obviously yeah, you do do as well. Uh, so how did you? We did the pitch presentation individually. So, mm -hmm. uh, how did you? put it together uh with powerpoint just a different slides on everything like how to break it down storyboards i used canva ai to uh, generate all the images because my uh, teacher said i could do that and he was short list so i just went off the storyboard because i had me i did production schedule yeah and then i did all sorts of different things to get me prepared and like like what who would be my actor i said like who plans for actors mm. and stuff? So then I said, by location, I'll I film both my film, the film studio, and stuff, and I could change it if it like doesn't work out. Yeah. So, uh, so the first thing I did was um, obviously that was the title, <laughs> the yeah. which, is, which is the yeah. first thing, and then I what I did for the mise en scène genre breakdowns, I, I took a screenshot of the script, and then. Uh, I took a screenshot of the highlight, uh, script that I highlighted, put it on PowerPoint, and just say what it was. Yeah, so I, I broke down the mise-en-scene, I yeah. broke down the genre, then I talked fully about the genre, that it was like sci-fi thriller. Although that section of the script didn't have thriller, but the entire film as a whole yeah. was... Yeah, it's a sci-fi thriller well. thing, isn't yeah. it? So you yeah. never know what you're doing. Oh, yeah. So after that, I talked about how I would adapt it, the budget, which we didn't have any because we're students. Yeah. You know, you um, can't, you know, you, they had to go that way, right? Oh, I know. To talk, so. Um, yeah. And then 
we I filled out a location risk assessment form and the location recce form. Mm -hmm. Uh, the production schedule, what I was going to do, the props we're going to gather, the actors, uh, everyone also talking about the safety of the cast and crew on set. So everything was on there and it was like well detailed. Yeah, same like the yeah. lackey film forms and the same. Yeah. So how effective is the mise-en-scene and genre conventions in your final production and how does it interpret with the script? So what different elements of mise-en-scene did you consider for your own production uh, and lighting. pitch? Like if, if you were to shoot your own film, what areas would you concentrate on? Lighting, me. For me, yeah, be lighting, it would be better. Like props, like what props yeah. you would use, because... Fair pop could be like Fair too enough, big yeah. or something. You got probably lighting because you won't be able to see the actor. If it's like a really dark scene, you'll probably be like, what lights you use and stuff. Mm. So. For me, I considered the setting because that's odd, like the most important. And then yeah. the lighting, uh, the lighting which is in a dim lit apartment, and also the position of the character. I, I from in my opinion those are like the key parts of the scene that make it what it is. So yeah, that's by that's for me. Yeah. Mm. So and because it's like a sci fi thriller, you have to um kinda consider some parts of the script uh, like for example when it says overgrown technology it means that like, like there's Text scattered everywhere, so yeah, that's like the setting. Yeah, the wires like everything's like connected to Gavin's stuff. And he's like, yeah, the one was like Neo's the center of the technology, so he's like important, and like he's surrounded by the technology, which is like that's he thinks that's where he belongs, sort of. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sure. So uh, during our pitch, we filmed. So here's the thing. This is where it gets tricky. We filmed me and Paolo script yeah. because I used Canva AI as well and our script, our storyboard was like kind of similar, similar yeah. and the storyboard as well so it was kind of both of us so um, if you filmed your script which like basically we both <laughs> yeah. were, you su were we successful in presenting these elements in mise-en-scene? Yeah I would say so because we had like technology and stuff and then we had like followed this clip it was like kind of wires and stuff we had like a bunch of wires everywhere yeah and yeah to do a bunch more. i'd say we did be I, i'd say we did follow the script accurately i do wish that we would have like the only way i would have said that we would have done it better is well more wires <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, and okay and the crane we can use the help train as our overshot yeah, could, yeah. could have actually used the crane properly Sorry. to get we, that overhead shot we did shot. use the crane though yeah, yeah we, we did we use the crane, crane but really uh, no one was yeah. tall enough to I, yeah. get I was I was tall enough shot. just that the grid yeah, yeah. yeah. We so we well we did the best we could anyway yeah it was the best of our efforts and it, it actually came out good yeah, yeah. true but more shots mean longer videos so all right, down to the last bit. Evaluate technical quality of the final production. So we're assessing cinematography, sound, lighting, editing of the finished film. So how were we successful? What uh, could have been improved? I do know one thing. There was no sound. Yeah, the sound there was no sound. Was, it was a bit fair, There was it? an issue with the camera microphone, which yeah. made it, it not I'll too. tell you this now. The problem was no, it wasn't plugged in properly. It wasn't pro yeah, yeah, it wasn't it plugged wasn't in properly. properly. So yeah. there was no sound. Our dialogue yeah. wasn't there. Yeah. Uh, so we could have improved on that, or we would have double-checked the camera to see if everything was working properly. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, so... so can improve on that if we do but we sound. did fix it in the edit where we put different sound effects like, like a music and uh, we put music knocking and whatnot knocking and keyboard and clacking and that that really helped yeah, it to make a good yeah. edit yeah. and for cinematography um use more camera angles camera angles at different and shots, um, like 
Yeah. Like a long shot, maybe. Possibly a, a gimbal. Shot. Possibly a gimbal, so like you can catch it. Yeah. Like the eyes of like facial expression. Like um, a gimbal, you can use a gimbal to zoom yeah. in on your like, eyes or something. Or a pan. Yeah. Am I right to say it though? Yeah. yeah. Um, the the lighting was good actually. Yeah, the lighting was good. The, the lighting, lighting was right. good. And it was like editing. One thing, one thing about a anything about my ed editing that I did for the screen. Yeah. Yeah. One thing though that I've actually done for the edit was the color grading. Yeah. I was jealous when I saw the others. I was like, I could have done this, but yeah. I didn't think of it. it. I did figure it. I just said put it in. It was. We did the best we could do. Yeah. So. What technical skills did we gain this year, and uh, how did we apply them to make it this film? And I did like meet on sands and like set dressing because we practiced that a lot with Nick, like with that one scene from that movie where it was like they were set on the couch and stuff. We yeah. had like different stuff. We yeah, like, basically, yeah. The blanket uh, and stuff, so we had all practice and like explain how to do it throughout the project. Uh, technical skills as in. So beginning of this year, we learned how to set up the camera, set the, camera, uh, set the exposure. Mm. Uh, I actually learned how to edit back in level one. So yeah. it's basically just brushing up my editing That's skills. Um, Some people use the course, learn how to edit. Learned how to set up the camera, learned how to uh, just brushing up my editing skills, learned how to set up lights the way I would want it for mm -hmm. uh, depending <laughs> on the film I'm making. And then how to like make sure the camera settings are fine, like yeah. your shot speed and all sorts. But I would improve all my camera work and lighting. Yeah. yeah. There, there is always like improvement for that. There, there is no like, oh, you're a master at this. Yeah. It's always like improvement, well, improvement, yeah. Improvement. I was about to say that. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm quite experienced with cameras, so yeah. Fair enough. So yeah, that's. All we have for this roundtable discussion, and uh, I hope there is a next one. Possibly will. You never know. It's like a podcast as well, not a video though. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we will see you again. Like and subscribe on occasions on and all that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That. Hey, phone.